Good morning. Today we're at one of our favorite places here in Pigeon Forge, the Old Mill. We're going to eat, have some fun, do some shopping. This is going to be a fun day, probably a lot of shopping. Uh, we're going to check into our hotel later, so we'll give you a view of that Woo! at the Quality Inn. Check out the island, all that stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so coming up on the Old Forge Plaza here, we got the Old Forge Distillery the Iron Mountain Metal Craft, the Finishing Touch, lots of different places here, the Leather Place, kind of an old-fashioned village type area. We got the Candy Kitchen, pottery area over here. Uh, this place is really crowded, so I'm trying to... Got the Creamery over here, that looks pretty awesome. Might have to get an ice cream later. And point of reference, out here is the main parkway. The name of the road is Old Mill Road, so it's really easy to find. Um, over here is the restaurant. We're going to check out the waterfall and all that good stuff here. So normally, on a warm day, they're out here making kettle corn. I'll tell you what, you can smell it from everywhere. Uh, very peaceful back here. It is Sunday afternoon, so it's probably going to get very crowded. And I'm just following the bus. So a little change of plan. We've turned around. We're going to go ahead and eat. It is very chilly out here. So we're going to go ahead and get a bite to eat. We'll show you the meal we get here and then we're going to come back and do some shopping. We are inside the old mill. We're going to check out some of the menu here. Probably going to get my favorite chicken and dumplings. Uh, Jess, what are you getting? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> Oh, pretty exciting. It's one of our favorite places. So we are here for their brunch. Saturdays and Sundays is from 10 to 2. They do have a lot of stuff on their menu here. Regular lunch menu? Oh, okay. And we got the meatloaf. Southern style ground round. Country fried steak. All kinds of good stuff. Where are them chicken and dumplings? They're on here somewhere. Uh... Yeah, so all these prices are $13.99. They come with a cup of their signature corn chowder, corn fritters, homemade mashed potatoes, and green beans. I think we're going to start off with some sweet tea. There it is. There she is. Old Mill chicken and dumplings, absolutely fantastic. Made from scratch, long simmered, with old-fashioned flavor. Creamy, sauced chicken with homemade dumplings. And it... It is definitely a southern favorite. Okay, so they brought out our corn fritters. These are fantastic. And we got the corn chowder here. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Okay, so they just brought our food out here. Got the chicken and dumplings. Looks pretty amazing. Got our country green beans, mashed potatoes. Just got the country fried chicken, green beans and mashed potatoes, and she wasn't sure what kind of gravy she wanted for it, so they brought out two things of it. Pretty awesome. We're going to eat. We're, we'll do a little review of how we liked it here after we're done eating. Also, best sweet tea around. Well, we finished that wonderful meal. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I will say one thing. Uh, first off the bat, this is still one of my favorite restaurants here in Pigeon Forge. Uh, that being said, they did mess up my chicken and dumplings. Now, we... Uh, yeah, they were, I don't know, like... It wasn't on purpose, I don't think. No. They said they had a new cook, and... Yeah, we think that they freeze it, and then they reheat it as they go, because a couple pieces of my chicken were frozen, um, yeah. and they were very apologetic, and they brought me out a huge portion of their pot roast, and I will say that that was delicious. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to complain about it at all. Uh, absolutely love this place everybody makes mistakes not a big deal and uh yeah the corn fritters the the chowder everything is always top notch here absolutely delicious how was your uh chicken fried steak good. it was good yeah i tried a bite of it i thought it was pretty good yeah everything's I mean, good here highly recommend this place highly recommend it this place is awesome and and they made it right they were very apologetic i said every you know things happen that's all right yeah. You know, so anyway, we're going to go check out some shops. So we're going to check out the Old Mill General Store here. 
They usually have all kinds of little trinkets and different kinds of souvenirs. As soon as you come into the general store here, they have all kinds of little Irish things set up here. A little Irish mug, a clover there. Got some goat milk soap. Wow, never heard of that. Nine dollars for a bar of soap though, sounds a bit much. Got some green pepper mountain jelly. That's interesting. It's like the St. Patty's section right here. Got some pretty cool old mill hats here. Not too bad, I guess. $25.99. I mean, we are in a resort type area, so things are going to be a little, little more pricey, but got some cool shirts here. Let's see. $14.99 $14 for a cool bear looking t shirt. They pretty much have any kind of old mill mug you can possibly think of. A nice uh, coffee cup here. That's a big one. $25, but that's like, that's solid. Got some nice little hangy thingies. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Kinds of little books and knives with your name on it. You know, in case you lose it. Oh, these old mill blankets are nice. I how much this is. Let's see. Can you read that, Jess? $20.99? That don't seem too bad. It's a nice, uh, thick blanket there. Jess just pointed out something pretty awesome here. They have these tent brights where you put them on the end of your tent poles. So you can see your tent if you're out there deep in the, in the woods or maybe doing some hiking. Be able to find your tent in the dark. They got all kinds of little books and stuff on bears from the Smoky Mountains. Mostly all black bears here in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, don't feed them. <laughs> cool stickers here. What are these like decals? That's pretty cool. Got some more over here. This place is awesome. And it's not just old mill stuff. All kinds of great Smoky Mountains. Uh, they do have a lot of cheap stores here like the Everything $9.99 and under, which you can find out on the main drag parkway um, for $4.41, I believe it is. The main parkway area down the main drag. Get you a little classic guitar up there. It's a cheap guitar, but something for, something for a little one. You can even get an ornament with bears on a bicycle. How cool is that? I gotta say, they got a little something for everybody here. Goat milk hand cream. Soothes and moisturizes dry, thirsty hands. <laughs> Got these cool little Smoky Mountain Bear plushes. We're going to go outside and check this out here in a few minutes. But I thought this was pretty cool looking at it from the window here. This is the old mill waterfall. Right below us here is the, the water mill. It's a really cool view from down here. We'll go out there here in just a few minutes. Jess is doing some souvenir hunting. This is what I need right here. A giant Flintstone cast iron skillet. You can make 40 eggs in this thing. <laughs> they have all kinds of cast iron. I don't see any prices on it. I'm sure they're not cheap. But uh, definitely, uh, I don't know if this is the same. This ain't the same brand that they had at Kroger. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, these are nice. Be nice to even just have a small one. We love cast iron skillets. Uh, we lost our last one from a few years ago, so we're going to have to buy another one here. But I don't know if I'm going to buy one here. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. $70. $70 for the big Flintstone here. I say Flintstone because this thing is just massive. Uh, you, could, you could cook up two racks of ribs on this thing. They got some really nice, like, kitchen utensils and stuff here. Also, something you can make cherry cordials with. That is cool. That's really cool. Um, got some nice, heavy-duty spatulas. Just lots of stuff. It, it looks durable, too. It doesn't look like the cheap dollar store stuff. This is the, this is the real deal here. Plus, they have these little... The little corn holders, we have these. Uh, they're great. 
Somebody was asking about the grits that they sell at the old mill. I said I would check them out. Here they are right here. Stone ground white grits. They got the yellow grits too, but I would go with the white and just dress it up as necessary. For this big five pound bag, it's $7.99. Uh, for the two pound bag, it's $3.99. So yeah, here we got the Smoky Mountain Honey Company. Uh, it's got the honeycomb in there. It is $16, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because I've always been curious how this honey tastes. Uh, probably won't open this up till we get home, but I've always wanted to buy a jar of this and I never have, so we're gonna try it. Wanted to come out here and show you guys the big waterfall here. It's pretty awesome. We're actually up on the ledge here, or the sidewalk, I shouldn't say ledge. <laughs> There's the water mill back there. I'll tell you what, we've been here at night and they do have like lights back there and it just looks gorgeous. You can go down there and uh, got a guy fishing down there. I don't know, can't say whether you can do that or not. <laughs> what do you think? About all this is cool looking. I wish the wheel spinned around. That yeah, I don't know. I don't think that does anymore. I think that's, I think that's just for show. I'll tell you what, I mean, the water level's really up here, too. Normally, uh, it's not this high. Uh, they've probably had a lot of rain down here. But uh, normally, you can see all the rocks down here. So, Jess pointed out to me, I can't believe I missed it. Got the big smoky mountains here in the background, too. If you look at the highest point there, that is Klingman's Dome. 6,678 feet, I believe. And to give you a point of reference, the general store and the Old Mill restaurant is over there. And as we turn around to our right on the bridge here, we have all these other shops that we never really go to. So we're gonna check out some. We got some hard cider there. Not a big fan of hard cider, but uh, they got it. We're gonna go check out this uh, tie-dye store Jessica wants to see. We have crossed the street here. Right here is where the hard cider building is. Up here, we got the general store. Out here we have the main drag that'll take you all the way from the highway through Pigeon Forge, take you all the way to Gatlinburg. We're gonna go to the tie-dye shop. Right down there where Jess is. Give us a wave, Jess. <laughs> you find something you like? That is cool looking. Great Smoky Mountains. All kinds of cool tie-dye shirts in here. I like this one. Hey, so we are out of the Old Mill District and we have reached our new hotel room destination. One cannot afford to stay at the Christmas place forever. We are at the Quality Inn near the island. Um, it is, the island is like a resort type area in Pigeon Forge. We are directly across the street. Going to do a little room review. Let's see if anybody's inside. Hello. <laughs> I, wanted to, oops, I wanted to make it like it was Casper and oh. it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the lighting is a little darker in here. Um, but it's pretty much the same room we've always stayed in. But if anybody who's been watching our channel for a long time may notice that we actually got one of the king rooms. Got a king size bed here. Got Jess right there. <laughs> got a. Uh, Nice chair where I can do all my video editing. Uh, I did ask about the internet because I do have to have pretty decent internet. She said that this room should be good and that they would accommodate us if it's not as far as the Wi-Fi goes. It's always a struggle, <laughs> but TV looks pretty nice here. I wanted to give a good view of our room before we destroyed it all. Yeah. <laughs> Got some light over here. Nice king size bed. And another nice thing is that we have a lot more room. When you have a, are those full beds in the other? Queens. Queens, okay, so you can imagine Queens. how much less room you have. Also what makes this room bigger is they did away with the little kitchen area here. Well, it's because it's a handicap accessible room. Oh, okay. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is a handicapped accessible room so they had to make it to where you could 
like show over here where the fridge and microwave is. Yeah. They had to make it to where you could just roll right Roll in, in here. Either. Okay. You can't roll and turn and turn to get to it when it's in yeah. the cubby. That's cool. I like this anyway. I think yeah, because nice. it definitely opens it up more uh, than the other rooms that we've had here. And uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Hey, I can sit down while I take a shower. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I got all your coffee here. And they have good coffee up front. I usually walk up to the front and always get my coffee anyway because I'm lazy. Got the uh, fridge here. Make sure I hear it. I hear it running. Yep. 32 degrees in there. Perfect. And hey, that one has a little freezer. I didn't notice that. Just over there lounging. Hello. <laughs> but uh, got this big, huge mirror here. Pretty nice. Got a, uh, yeah. Not, you know, it's, it's not like Christmas place, but you know, this is kind of like our second home when we come down here. This is really, this is the hotel we always stay at. And they're very friendly, very welcoming, really nice people here. Okay, so as soon as we come out of our room here, this is another reason why we like this particular room. One, it's on the first floor, so we don't even have to go up an elevator. But we are right next door to the elevator, where we'll go up and check probably later, maybe in another video, and go see the mountains on the other side. But here we got the indoor pool. One thing I already like better about here compared to Christmas Inn is it's not as packed. Now it'll get a little packed at night, but I'll tell you what, the one at the Christmas Inn, we didn't even go swimming because it was so crowded. But uh, really nice, really nice pool, probably bigger than what it looks on camera here. Also here in the back, we got people back there, so I'm not gonna go back there, but there is a hot tub over here to our left. And uh, pretty, pretty massive place here. Pretty awesome. You got a walkway that'll take you over here. Just past the wall over here is the mountains. Um, but we like the spot where we are. The internet was perfect the last time, so I assume that it'll be the same. Looks pretty cool. And this pool is open 24 seven. That's another cool thing about it. It could be two, three o'clock in the morning. You can go soak in the hot tub, go swimming, just anything you want to do. I love this place. This place is very accommodating. They have a full breakfast, which is in the other building. They actually offered us a room in the other building, but we like it here because we're closer to the walk to the island and all that stuff, which we're going to have in a future video here for you guys. But just kind of wanted to give you a nice overview of this hotel. We really like it. Okay, guys, so it is the next morning and we are here at Quality Inn. One thing I wanted to show is behind us here is the, the building we're staying in, which is next to the parkway, which kind of puts us in the middle of everything. As you can see here, here's our building. You come across this little side street here, never a busy street. And you come over here to this building to get breakfast. We're gonna go in and see what they got. New Jerry over here, they got your coffee. Nice complimentary breakfast over here. Also, they got a fire going. Really nice over here in this building. Pretty cool. It's warm up by the fire for a second. It is a little chilly out this morning, but it is supposed to get up to 65 degrees, so it'd be pretty nice from that 25 degree weather the other day. So I think got some grits there. Got some eggs and sausage. Biscuits and gravy. And this is all included with your stay. This is nice. The last time we were here last year and they didn't have all this because of the pandemic going on. But really nice. Got different drink options here. Some cranberry juice, apple juice, orange juice. I assume this normally has yogurt in it. I'm sure they'll bring it back out. They have these apples individually wrapped. I like that. That's nice. They look pretty good too. Some bananas. Got a big container of milk here. Got all different kinds of cereal, different options. And they got some oatmeal, some instant grits, but I don't know why you would get those if you can get the, the real deal over there. Got some little tiny bagels and they got a little toaster oven here you can put your bread in. 
whatever you like. Looks delicious. Got a big picture of waffles there, but I don't see any waffles. It is first come, first serve to the tables, but I wanted to show you. If you got a checker, some checkers, you can play checkers or chess. Pretty cool. Let's see what Jess got here. She got some bagels, some eggs, biscuits and gravy, a cinnamon. What is this? I'm not sure. <laughs> She's not sure. She just grabbed it. <laughs> and some cranberry juice. Yeah, I got some grits here. Got some eggs, sausage, biscuit and gravy. I'm gonna show you guys the proper way to do southern grits here. You're gonna need a little thing of butter, a packet of sugar, and a packet of salt and pepper. Mix all that in there, grits heaven. Guys, that breakfast was fantastic. Absolutely delicious, all the comfort foods. Uh, quality in here is just, this is the place we usually stay when we come down here. Uh, it's, you know, if you book it far enough in advance, you can get it for a really good price. But just wanted to kind of go over a couple things. So last night, we went over to the island. I didn't take the camera over there, just kind of wanted to hang out and relax. We ended up doing the Skyfly, which is a lot like Soren at Epcot and Disney World. It's like a moving theater ride. Uh, it was intense. It was really cool. Jessica loved it. Jess is out doing a couple things right now, but I wanted to go ahead and finish this video because it was starting to get a little long. We don't like our videos to go over, you know, 30 minutes is usually the limit for us. But anyway, uh, really fun day at the old mill. Everything was delicious. Slight mishap with the chicken and dumplings, but that's okay. Uh, still one of our favorite restaurants. Absolutely beautiful day today. It's gonna be 65. We got a few things planned, but that will be in tomorrow's video. Um, you know, it's been a great time so far, having a great vacation. I also said in the video from yesterday, it's kind of getting really long here. So we got some souvenirs uh, from the old mill district and from the tie-dye store. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna show those maybe later on in the week or in a separate video, because there's so much stuff we're doing right now. We want to focus on that stuff and we'll show all that stuff more toward the end of our vacation and all the other videos that we do here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.